Hello everyone, welcome back to Simplicity Imagine. So today I decided to do a little home project vlog and in this case I wanted to paint my dresser with white chalk paint. So the first step is to just wipe everything down. I used I think Windex or there's another product called Crud Cutter and I basically used it with these blue paper towels that you can use for cars as well. I don't know what they're called but you can find them somewhere in Menards, Home Depot, that kind of idea. So here are all the products that I use for the chalk paint and for the wax and just the applicators that I use as well. So the first one is this bare chalk paint, decorative chalk paint, and you want to make sure that it says white base on the top and also make sure to read the back. And also you want to be painting when the weather is 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The application brush, I'm using the Wooster Ultra Slash Pro Firm Shortcut Brush. And this is two inches. Next here is the wax. Also by Bear, it's just called the Decorative Finish and in the color white. And lastly, I'm going to be using this brush by Trilon and it's basically for all paints and stains, two inches thin angled. Originally, we're going to be using like the round brushes like this, but that was $30, so didn't want to splurge on that. Anyways, sorry about the echo in the garage, but here's my mom demonstrating how to open a paint can properly because we all know that I'm not Bob the Builder, so we just need a little tutorial on that. So in order for the paint to not go in these crevices right here, you want to put a rubber band so it's just from the middle and to the top right here. And then when I dip my paintbrush in, then I can just scrape off the excess paint onto the rubber band instead of the side so then it prevents all the paint cloggage right here. So featured here is a little nifty demonstration of me just showing you exactly what I just said. So enjoy folks. Next, you're going to see several series of time lapse of me just painting and going crazy on the dresser. Now, the first layer, you don't really need to make it perfect. In fact, the first layer, you can really care less about it because the second layer is when we want to make it look perfect, have some nice touch ups and make sure it's not, you know, lumpy all over the place. Also, please excuse the fact that my garage is um, very messy. So, yeah. Another little helpful comment that I have is that you don't really need to worry about getting paint inside of the dresser unless you have, you know, one of those nosy friends that, you know, cares a lot about um, very benign things and points it out. But um, I doubt that many of you have that kind of friend and, you know, if so, then why are they your friend if they're criticizing your dresser that you diy to make it look better? Um, also, don't find that minorly passive-aggressive rant. Um, that's only for joking purposes and to make this tutorial a little less dry than just watching someone paint wood the whole time. Since I've completed the first coat, then I'm going to let it set for two hours and then I'm going to go again with another coat of paint. And then lastly, once that coat dries, I'll put on the wax. Next, I'm going to be applying a wax layer after this third paint coat. And you wanna make sure that you read every single bullet point conveniently provided for all of you on the back of the wax canister. Also, I highly recommend using gloves because you don't wanna mess up your $8 manicure from Walmart. Drum roll, please. And here's the final result of the dresser. If you guys want any more information, please look in the description box down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.